everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Vlogmas day 15. Today we are gonna be doing a get ready with me using the Marvel Eternals palette from Urban Decay. I am so excited, I purchased this when it was half off and I decided to like do a dedicated video on it. So if you're new here, hi, my name's Anna. I am here five days a week, but right now for Vlogmas, I am here every single day in the month of December. So be sure to subscribe, ring the bell, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so um, we're gonna do just like a full face. I'm really excited about this palette, you guys. This is so cute. Don't mind my hair, I like totally like flipped out like that. But this is super cute because like you flip it up and it kind of gives me like the Alice of Through Looking Glass palette vibes. I used to have that palette way back in the day. But then you like lift it up and boom. So cool. So, um, okay, let's go ahead and get started with the primer. This is the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. I'm trying to work on using some other things from my everyday makeup drawer. And this was one of them. I think it was like Vlogmas Day 4 I did like an everyday makeup drawer video. So if you wanna see that, my entire playlist is linked down below. But I am like so excited. I really like this palette. It's so cute. And you guys seem to really like when I do these like get ready with me type videos. So we're just gonna kinda put the primer on. <laughs> it's kind of like, I don't know. I don't really think this is like mattifying by any means. Like I think, I think when I first had, I think it said something like that it had like kale and clay in it. I don't really notice a whole lot of like mattifying properties with this primer to say the least. We're gonna go with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. And okay, today is Sunday. I am filming this on the 12th. And oh, this week is like my last full week of work. And then I have the week after, it's so like the 20th. And the 21st, I have work. And then the 22nd through the 3rd, I have off. And I am very excited, <laughs> to say the least. I mentioned this in previous videos, but you know what? I've never really had a Christmas break while working a full-time job. So I'm just like really excited. So, okay. This is like my one of my favorite foundations, like period. If you want something good, full coverage, you got oily skin, this is such a good foundation and it's like 12 bucks at Ulta and you can use coupons on it because <laughs> it's not a prestige item. Today I am filming one more video and then I, after that, I am going to clean the house and I'm going to get Christmas decorations up because we still have not done that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, we still have not done that. And then, um, I do want to wrap some gifts. I do have some gifts coming in the mail, so I can't wrap those yet, but I did go shopping yesterday. I did get some gifts, so I'm gonna wrap those. I got our dogs like super cute gifts. I should show you guys. <laughs> but let me get like my face like set with powder first. So we're gonna use some tart shape tape. I kind of go all out for my dogs. <laughs> um, they each have their own stocking. Mm -hmm. We adopted our second dog, Phoenix, in uh, May and seemed to have come from a, it seems like he came from an abusive past. One time, Logan really likes to golf, so one time he brought out his golf clubs and brought out one of those clubs, and Phoenix like went hiding. So I don't know what his past is. Like the Humane Association that we got him from, like our local county one said that he was surrendered because um, his owners were moving, but I think, that there is unfortunately more to the story and he's only two and I just want to give him like a good old Christmas that Rascal's gotten in years past so very happy about that. Setting my face with some Ciate Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. I really need to use this up because <laughs> it's just like not my favorite powder but let me show you what I got <laughs> my dogs for Christmas. They, they each got the same thing, so so that there'd be no fights. Because sometimes um, if they don't have the, the same toy, they get a little, um, they kind of fight over it. So we're not doing that this year. Okay, so I went to PetSmart and Target and I got them. This is These are from PetSmart. They're like this toy that they donate their proceeds 
to the PetSmart charities, and these are five bucks each, and they have like little, they're gonna rip these apart, but like I thought it was really cute. And they have like a squeaker in them, and I don't wanna squeak them because they're gonna hear it. But then I also got them each this toy from Target. They were buy one, get one half off. So, <laughs> super cute. They are like, they're kind of like one of those like stretchy toys. They're gonna really like those. And then, yeah, PetSmart, they found these little like presents that also squeak. <laughs> and then I also got them each two Arc Naturals brushless toothpaste, dental chew. Santa is gonna treat them really well this year. Our dogs are like our children. Okay, let's go into some bronzer. I'm gonna use the Physicians from the Matte Minoy Butter Bronzer. I look really, really pale in this lighting right now. Oh my gosh. So we gotta bronze up the skin a little bit. Okay. I gotta bronze up a little bit, I look a little crazy. Yeah, we did get a huge snowstorm over the weekend. It was kind of crazy. Like we were totally like snowed in. Um, we got all our driveway all cleared out, so we're good there, thank goodness. Um, I'm gonna go with my Milani Baked Powder Blush in the shade Luminoso. I kind of want really glowy cheeks today, and I thought this would be really nice to, because this is kind of a more luminous blush, has a little bit of a sheen to it. You can kind of tell, yeah, yeah, you can tell. But I also picked out two highlighters that I wanted to use today. So the first one I want to use is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Loose Highlighter in the shade Amped. Highly, highly recommend. And this is kind of like a more rose gold blush um, highlighter. So it kind of gives you like a glow from within. It's not super like bright and shiny and glittery which um, I'm totally okay with. I do like a good bold highlighter every once in a while though. But over the top, I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer um, Super Shock Highlighter in the shade Jingle, Jingle, Jingle. You gotta add three jingles, you can't have just one. <laughs> just gonna add a little bit of shine on the top because I really like this. Am I holding this product upside down? I don't know. Okay, we're gonna go in and do, and do some brows. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Brow Pencil. And I'm just gonna kind of comb up my brows like this. Oh, and it's broken. Okay. I do have a couple extra of these. So, cause I buy them when they're like half off with Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. So yeah, I never pay. I like, I don't think I've ever paid full price for one of these before. So good tip with a lot of that stuff. Don't pay full price for it. Wait for it to go on sale. Cause it probably will, <laughs> but I'm in the shade, let's see, soft brown. <laughs> Let me know what is on your like holiday wish list if you do celebrate a holiday this time of year. I'm really curious because I'm getting like really into buying your presents right now. I have to make an Amazon order. Other than that, I'm like just about done, which is really crazy because I feel like sometimes I get things kind of last minute. It's okay. Brows are finally done. Let's go into this palette. I have been like waiting for this video, waiting to film it. I saw this in theaters a couple weeks ago. I really liked this movie. I didn't know how I was gonna like it. I was kind of like on the fence about it. I thought it was really, really cool and I really hope that they, the Eternals, <laughs> come back for more like Marvel movies. I would love to see it. And yeah, so it comes with 15 shades. This originally retailed for $65, which I don't think that's worth it. I paid half of that, so I think I paid like 32 for it. I think that is a more reasonable price for Urban Decay. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go through swatches here. So we have Cosmic Blast, Family is Eternal, Immortal Warrior, Strength, In the Shadows, Devotion, Astro Lab, Lab, Loyalty, Grain of Sand, Famous, Merciful, Genius, Soaring, Protector, and Sonic Boom. Very, very cool. I'm so excited. I don't know what kind of look I want to use. The green and the purple are kind of enticing to me, but I guess we'll have to see where it goes because I'm going to start off neutral. <laughs> um, this palette does have, it looks like we have five mattes and 10 shimmers. So not really my favorite in terms of like 
balance with finishes but you know what these shimmers are beautiful they swatched amazing so um we're gonna go into devotion right here i'm gonna take my baby yoda mirror and i'm just gonna kind of apply that right in the crease as kind of like my transition shade and buff it out here we go i really like urban decay's formula i i think that urban decay does a very nice job with their makeup and their eyeshadows I think some of their concepts are a little odd. Like I talked about it in Monday's video, but like the Naked Cyber palette, that was kind of odd. Um, I also thought Naked Wild West was kind of weird, but I think they do have, I think they should maybe like branch out a little bit, like, like be like even more creative. I think they can really do that. So I'm gonna go into Grain of Sand right here. And if you have a Disney Plus membership, I read that Eternals is coming to Disney Plus in the middle of January. So in case you're interested, um, I'm going to take Grain of Sand and just kind of like buff it right in here. I have no idea what kind of look I want to do. So I'm just going to kind of like place color and then blend. I'm using a Morphe E62 brush. I think I'm going to take just a tiny bit of the shade Famous right here. And I'm going to take this brush from BH Cosmetics. I'm just going to take a little bit here. Ooh. And I'm just going to kind of place it on the very outer part of that eye. I just want to deepen it up a touch. Oop, getting my hair in the way, but I probably will have to blend this out with like another brush, but I just want a little bit more depth. I told you guys in the purchaser pass where I originally talked with this, I said, wait for this to go on sale. It will go on sale. And I was right, it did. <laughs> so I think with a lot of like collaborations and that kind of stuff, things do go on sale eventually. You can just kind of like wait, especially if it's not something you're like, oh my God, I gotta have it now. Cause sometimes I've been there where I'm like, I gotta have it now. <laughs> but with this, I was like, okay, this is super cute, but I wanna wait for it to go on sale. Cause $65, whew, no way. I'm trying to think here. I really like this shade Genius, which is like a cool tone purple. I really like this shade, which is called Protector. And I really like this green called Merciful. So I'm gonna kind of swatch them for you. They are a little flaky, but I love these colors. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go with Protector on the lid and maybe um, Genius on the lower lash line. I think that might be a good fit. So I'm mean, just going to take these with my fingers. Like I said, they are a little flaky. So I think applying them with your fingers is going to give you a better, <laughs> what I did. I just looked like this, but isn't this cute? Oh my gosh, this is freaking adorable. Okay. Anyways, I'm just going to kind of place this on the lid. I think this was supposed to be after, um, Angelina Jolie's character, which is Athena, but I think the Eternals, movie had a really good theme after it really cool i want to see them because i heard i read in an article that kevin feige is looking at making a, another avengers movie and my guess is it's gonna have like hulk thor hawkeye shang chi dr strange spider-man and uh loki maybe i don't know i don't know about you but i don't think loki's actually dead i don't think he is but bucky um the new captain america literally could do a whole video about like my marvel theories that i first off he was supposed to he was dead in infinity war i don't believe that for a second like i think he did something with like i like the multi multiverse of madness comes out in 2022 and i heard loki's in it and I think that Loki like goes back in time or something and like doesn't die. That's just me. So we're gonna take the shade Genius. I'm gonna put this right on the lower lash on here. It's almost like a silvery purple, which is so pretty. Oh, I love it. Okay, I did get my brush wet. So that's gonna kind of minimize some flaking, but not going to eliminate it. So just be on the lookout for that. I'm just gonna brush mine away here in a minute my fan brush. I can't believe I used to use this for highlighter. Isn't that funny? This is a Morphe M310 brush. Okay. I really like this shade Cosmic Blast, which is like a white, like really, really pretty shimmery shade. 
This will make a really pretty highlighter too. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, let's take this really, really fine brush right here. See it? My camera's being weird with the focusing right now, but this is a Morphe M250-0. I don't know why it's like that. I'm gonna get my brush wet once again. And I'm gonna dip right into Cosmic Blast. I don't really ever use this brush, but this is for like really like intense detail work like with like gel liner, something like that, but I'm gonna kinda like highlight right in here. Brighten up, this is like one of my favorite tricks ever. And I'm just gonna kinda blend right here cause I made this one a little chunkier. You can see really up close. There we go. My lips are so chapped, oh my gosh. I'm gonna take a little bit more of Cosmic Blast on a different brush, and I'm just gonna kinda place this on the inner corner. And then I'm also gonna highlight my brow bone with this. Ooh, that is so pretty. I also like desperately need a brow wax, but I'm really lazy and I don't ever go get one. <laughs> so I just immerse myself in painful tweezing that I'm really upset. I'm not really sure what kind of a lip to do. Like I thought, what if I did a red lip, but I don't think a red lip would look good. And let me do some liner and mascara and I'll be back and then we'll do some um, lips because I have no idea what to do. So I'm kind of, I've kind of been digging through my lips and I don't really know what to do. Like, I think this one looked kind of pretty, but um, I have my Rudolph one in the shade Clarisse. Oh wait, this is Rudolph. We're not doing that one. Yes, this is the combo. So we're gonna go with the ColourPop and Hocus Pocus Fresh Kiss Lip Creme in the shade Calming Circle. This is Mary's lip gloss. So, well, lip creme. <laughs> Oh my god, my lips are so dry. Please don't judge me. But let's just kind of pop this on. And I'm going to use one of my many NYX butter glosses <laughs> that I got. Um, I bought the whole like butter glass vault. And this is in the shade um, Tiramisu. Really nice pink, but I'm going to kind of let this dry for just a moment. Let this dry down. This is not something that dries down all the way, but it's not as like liquidy as it was before. So... Tiramisu Butter Glosses retails for like five bucks at Ulta. I totally recommend getting one of these. But I kind of wanted to pink it up just a little bit. All right, you guys, I love this look. I like the idea of like something very neutral on the top, but kind of jazzing it up on the bottom here. So this really pretty like silvery pink, I'm sorry, silvery purple shade is awesome. It's in the shade Genius. So pretty. I really like this look and I'm definitely going to be using this again in other videos. I want to play around with some of these like gold shades up here. I think that's going to be really fun. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to like and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. It really does help my channel. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 16. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.